you guys to start off this tutorial for the new year this will be my first tutorial for 2016 I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm using this it cosmetics um, brow pencil to fill in my brows it's kind of like a taupey shade if that makes sense it's very natural looking and goes well with my brow hairs um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the other side of the pencil and brush that out and blend it in with my brow hairs And then I'm gonna go ahead with my LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade fawn and clean up my brow area And this will just give it a nice cleaned up look almost kind of like you just came out of the salon and had your brows waxed if you're not into this look you do not have to do this all right you guys so I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush and just blend that out and kind of make sure it doesn't look all patchy and extra chunky under my brow because that 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 just doesn't look good all right now I'm gonna go in with my um, L'Oreal Pro matte infallible or infallible pro matte foundation in the shade soft sable and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to clean up the top part of my brow all right you guys now that I'm done with the brow cleaning up and filling in I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows using this NYC um, control freak brow mascara or brow gel then I'm gonna go in with my LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade fawn and apply some of this to the inner and outer part and transition area of my eyelid and this is gonna work as a primer for our first colors now using Oktoberfest from coastal sense and this blending brush from makeup addiction I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my transition area and blend this out and I'm gonna bring it in towards my tear duct area and also kind of smoke it out towards the tail end part of my brow okay now going in with the shade called barista also from coastal sense I'm gonna use this detailer kind of pointed brush also from makeup addiction and apply that shade into my crease and blend it into October fest as much as you can with the little brush then go in with your blending brush if you're going to recreate this look so I'm going in with my blending brush to blend out those two colors again to kind of marry them so it has a nice transitioned look now I'm gonna go in with my wet n wild gel not gel liner coal eyeliner pencil it's a brown eyeliner pencil try to use something that's not too waxy or too oily you want a pencil that's a bit more dry and sharpened and has a nice pointed end to it and you can outline your cut crease Okay, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. All right, you guys, so take your time and do this step, okay? You don't wanna rush it. As you guys can see, I'm doing a little at a time and then I go in for more longer strokes. Now I'm gonna go back in with that pointed detailer brush and apply Barista right over that line to kind of set it in place. And I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush just to smoke out the area just a bit more. Now for primer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Primer in the shade Noon and I'm just gonna apply some of that to the lid. Then I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush and kind of bring that out more to the rest of the lid and clean up that the line because we're going for more of a sharp cut crease look. The pigment I'm using is called French Manicure. It's from Makeup Addiction. And I first apply a dry coat and then I mix a second coat with a different brush. And I mix it with my e.l.f. Um, lock and seal to create kind of like a liquidy eyeshadow. And then kind of use it to clean up that line. As you guys could see, it gives the color more of a pigmented look. It's almost kind of like paint for your lids. Beautiful paint. <laughs> Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my NYC liquid liner in the shade very black or black and go ahead and create my wing liner. I'm sorry if I'm kind of out of focus or not in the frame properly. Okay, but you guys have seen me do my wing liner a lot of times. For mascara, I'm using my Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara and then for lashes, I'm using these Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead, apply some concealer and some primer underneath my eye area or under my lashes and smoke out my lashes using this crease brush from Coastal Sense. It's kind of like a blending crease brush and smoke out my lower lashes. Then go in with Chocolatier and apply that right under my lower lashes as well and then go in with Blackberry and this straight liner brush from Makeup Addiction and apply it right 
under my lashes this will give my lower lashes a fuller kind of thicker appearance and I'm also going to apply my mascara about two coats so that is it for the eyes onto the face I'm using my cover effects natural finish foundation in the shade G90 I'm just gonna apply this all over my face I'm applying a thin layer first then I'm gonna go back in and do kind of like a spot kind of conceal type of thing and use a flat top foundation brush from Coastal Sense from their pearl um, set and blend that out. The sponge by the way is damp. I use warm water to dampen it and it's from Real Technique. I think they call it a miracle sponge or something like that. So here you see me doing the little spot treatment and I'm just adding foundation in the spots where I would like a bit more coverage and I'm just going to go in with the sponge, not the sponge, the brush I mean, and blend that out. Doing like a patting motion you guys. I'm also going to go ahead and blend out my forehead area. Then I'm going to go in for my contour and I'm using another foundation also from Cover Effects. This one is in the shade N100 and I'm going to use my fingers and apply it to the areas where I want to bring more kind of dimension and shadows to my face because applying a full coat of foundation takes away all of the dimensions of your face. So this is kind of putting them back, okay? And I'm using this contouring brush from Diva Beauty to blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with my damp sponge to kind of blend it out once again to give it more of a natural look. So if you guys are happy with how it looks, if you're doing this technique, you can totally leave it like this, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm missing out in action here in the YouTube world. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, the, do a little bit of the most as usual. So, you know, just, just let me live. Okay, just let me live. I only have one life. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead, blend out the rest of my contour and use whatever product is left on my brush to contour my nose area, do some little touch-ups here and there, and also apply some of that contour, whatever product is left, to my jawline area. This will also help with blending out the foundation that's around your jawline. Okay, for highlighting, I'm using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn, and I'm applying this under my eye to brighten up under my eye area because I want it to look really bright and glam and pretty. So just going to apply some of that and I'm also going to um, apply that to my cupid's bow area, the bridge part of my nose, my chin and my forehead. And I'm also going to go ahead and highlight under my contour. So just a little bit under the contour, nothing too dramatic. Then I'm going to go back in with my damp sponge from Real Techniques and blend it out. All right, you guys, I just realized I said nothing too dramatic. Look, the cut crease already is dramatic, but kind of wearable, kind of wearable. If you don't want to make it that sharp, you can, you know, just go for a soft cut crease instead, which is basically just using a detail um, brush to create the line and then applying the shadow without, you know, sharpening it up. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead, blend out the rest of that concealer. And it's nothing, you know, too different from what I usually do. But, you know, I did miss you guys a lot. I really did. Um, actually, the reason why I kind of stayed off of YouTube, it's just a lot happened in the beginning of the year. My grandma's um, sister committed suicide. She took her own life. And, you know, it's just, it's just hurtful that I'm all the way here in the States. I'm not with my grandma. You know, she's not feeling well herself. So it was just... It was just a lot to take in and you know like I'm by myself pretty much with my kids and there's not much family around me so it was, it was just a lot so I needed my little time alone to grieve and yeah okay so I hope you guys understand why I was away okay so now once I'm done with the concealer I'm gonna go in and set my concealer using this air spun powder this is the translucent formula and I really like it I have yet to test it out to see if it has any flashback. I'll try and do that today and let you guys know in a future video, but I really like how it sets my concealer, <laughs> okay? All right, you guys, now I'm gonna go in with my G90 Cover FX Press Powder, and I'm just gonna pat this on to my face, kind of give me more of a matte look, and I'm using that same flat top foundation brush to apply it. Now I'm gonna use my L'Oreal um, infallible pressed powder in the shade Coco and I'm using this blush brush to apply that to darken up my contour to make it look a bit more dramatic and give me more of a kind of like a summer glow 
type of look to my face. I'm just kidding. Just darken up my contour. <laughs> but it does give you that effect like you've been, you know, somewhere where there's a lot of sun. Okay. All right. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in and contour my nose. And I'm using this kind of straight angled or straight line shadow brush that I also got from Coastal Sense. This is during they had their 40-50% off sale. I picked it up. I thought it was interesting looking and I thought it would be a good brush to contour your nose with since it's so small and you know could give you more of a precise application. And it can also help blend out the product since it's also so so soft. Not so whatever that word was soft. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead, sweep away all that extra um, powder that we use to set our concealer, which we call baking. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some corrector concealer from LA Girl and just blend that out and then go on top of that with a bit of my foundation and also set that with some of my G90 powder. Now for highlight, I'm using my Makeup Addiction. Um, this is kind of loose powder highlight in the shade Orgasmic. Such a gorgeous color, you guys. And the brush I'm also using is from Makeup Addiction, okay? And I'm also going to kind of highlight my Cupid's bow area and the bridge part of my nose. Then I'm going to go in with my Lorac Big Blush in the shade Hollywood. I'm not sure where you guys could get this, and I'm just going to apply that using my blush contour brush that I use to apply my contour and for lips I'm using my LA Splash liquid lipstick in the shade Untamed. It's a beautiful kind of reddish tone brown shade. And so that's pretty much it for this look you guys. You know um, I asked you guys what you wanted to see and I got cut crease and orange and this is what I came up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys have any requests I'll leave them down below and yeah here's the final look okay make sure you guys give me a thumbs up comment and share this video if you enjoyed it love you guys bye